What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today we're going to be looking at the top 10 worst scrolls. The following scrolls you will see are genuinely crappy. I came up with the list um, from my own brain and with the help of my guildmates, and this is the best, or the worst list, I guess, that we could come up with. It is filled with cards you would not see in any kind of competitive format like Ranked or Judgment. Maybe you might come across these following cards in some fun types of gameplay. But these scrolls are all terrible. So let's get on with it. Uh, Essence Feast. It is a 4 cost growth spell. For each unit you control, heal your idol on the same row by 1. Beast creatures deal double damage to idols this turn. This is a bad card. Believe it or not, it used to be worse because it used to be 6 growth, which was absurd. And it's still pretty bad right now. Um, it's basically a corrode without the card draw and it might get you some idle healing but who needs that anyways um, it's very bad maybe you could see some play in beast decks in the future but I don't like the card at all um, propose changes because what's the point of just going on about bad cards if you're not going to try to help them um, Maybe if it was 2 cost, I don't think it would be played with 3 cost, maybe if it was 2 cost it would be played, but it's nice for growth to get some double damage to idols with their great wolves and stuff. Um, yeah, 2 cost I think could be played, maybe have the idol healing a little more significant, maybe it would be played, like, for each unit you heal 3 uh, health on each idol, that would be more significant than 1 health, so, um, yeah. At number 9, we have Crone. It is a 3 cost growth creature, human kinfolk, 0 attack, 3 countdown, 2 health. Crone does not attack. When Crone is destroyed in melee combat, the attacking unit is destroyed. This card sucks. Um, at 2 health, it's so easily destroyed by so many things. Um, doesn't do anything basically offensively so you're putting down this three drop that all it does is it will destroy an oncoming attack from a melee creature so range just makes it obsolete um, oftentimes the creature that kills it is going to be like a rat or something so it's just a very bad card it's like a two health wall for three cost so it's pretty darn bad I would to make it better, I would probably have to raise the health to four or five. I don't. If it was four health, I still don't think it would be played. If it was five or six health, I think you could see some play, but maybe not even then. At number eight, we have the bunny. Now, don't hate on me for hitting on the bunny. I love bunnies as much as the next guy, but I really wish they were just better scrolls that we could actually play. It is one cost, it's a beast, a bunny, zero attack, three counts, and one health. If bunny's attack is zero, it will summon another bunny in an adjacent tile instead of attacking. So, right now, flat out, worst one drop in the game in my opinion. Um, it does nothing. I mean, sure, you might get lucky and if your pawn just ignores it, which they probably will do anyways. You might get a, a board full of zero attack, one health creatures, and maybe you can get some god hands in and try to win it. But is that really going to happen? No. One health could die to anything. It doesn't even attack. What are you going to do with a bunch of bunnies, anyways? Now, proposed changes. I don't understand why it has a three count sound. I wish it had a two count sound. There's no reason why bunnies can't procreate any faster. So. I'd make the countdown to two, maybe even one, raise the cost to two. I don't know, but we need more bunnies faster. If, if their thing is going to be about multiplying, they better do it faster than every three turns. At number seven, I have Vitriol Aura. It's a one cost growth enchantment. When an enchanted unit is attacked in melee combat, attacker becomes poisoned for three rounds. So, little spoiler. There are going to be future cards in this list that are similar to this, and that 
this only takes effect when it's attacked in melee combat. The thing is, when something's attacked in melee combat, oftentimes it dies. Like, it usually doesn't live. And then, fine, the attacking unit gets poisoned. I would much rather sneak in a ranger's bane or something so I can actually directly poison something than have to then have a conditional that means that only if this thing gets attacked in melee, whatever creature attacked gets poisoned. It just feels very bad. Um, for this card, uh, a buff, it's one cost. You can't really change the cost. Um, maybe if the poison wasn't for three rounds, just went on forever, so it could be maybe like a slow death. Um, yeah, I'd like that. So, yeah, that's my proposed change. At number six, Faith Duty. It's a two cost order enchantment, enchant unit you control. At the end of each of its turns, enchanted unit is dealt one damage, and opponent units on that row get their countdown increased by one. So, for two cost, you are using a scroll, you're damaging your own unit, so you can stop your opponent's units from attacking. So, the amount of countdown reduction in the game is very high, so oftentimes this won't really, this won't really work. You're damaging your own creature, that is immediately a little skeptical on the scroll. I could see it in some places being used, but as the flavor text says, not wisely. It's not wise to use this card. Next, we have Golem Skin. Two cost energy enchantment. When Golem Skin comes into play, sacrifice all of your structures. Enchanted creature gains additional attack and health equal to the number of structures sacrificed. So, this is not like Metal Heart. This destroys your structures permanently, but gives the creature a permanent buff. So, yes, you could. Theoretically, get a creature some massive attack and health if you had a lot of structures. But would you really want to sacrifice like your whole board of structures? This wouldn't be that good in a structure deck because you're basically clearing your board every time you play this uh, enchantment. It seems like usually it's not going to be a good play because you are, again, destroying your own things. So, this card is a no-go to me. Unbind is a one-cost decay spell. Sacrifice non-decay structure you control, increase decay by one. I don't know why this and Golem skin make you want to destroy your own structures, but I'm not falling in the trap. I'm just not going to play these cards. Uh, the problem is that there's no memorials that give decay, or that are decay that give other resources. Or it wouldn't work if they are decay, never mind. But so what are you going to unbind, actually? You'd have to splash in a structure from another deck or something. It doesn't fit well with Decay. It doesn't really work in Decay decks. And who wants to destroy their own structures again? So that's my take on it. Vengeance Fail. My opinion is the third worst scroll in scrolls. One cost order in Gemin when enchanted cre enchanted unit takes damage. Its countdown decreases by one. Again, with the vitriol aura, oftentimes that damage it takes will just kill it, so it won't really the it won't really come into play. The uh, the countdown decrease by one. Um, that's really all I have to say about it. Um, I'm gonna go back to the proposed changes at the end of the video, so don't be alarmed that I forgot to do the past few ones. And the second worst scroll in the game is. Resident Helm. One cost order enchantment. Enchanted unit's health is healed by one every time you play a spell or enchantment. First of all, big turn off is it's a healing card, which we all know do not work very well in scrolls because the things don't have much health and they often die in one hit anyway, so the healing won't really help. Um, and this isn't even like like definite healing. You're putting this uh, using a scroll on a scroll to heal it with other scrolls. It just it feels a little inefficient and it's not very good.
The worst scroll in scrolls is Wicked Being. One cost decay enchantment. When enchanted unit is attacked in melee, attacker gets cursed too. So similarly to the Vitriol Aura and the Vengeance Veil, it's another one of these when enchanted unit is attacked in melee. And this is the worst effect. Attacker gets cursed too. At least the poison and the countdown reduction may do something. But this thing, what does curse do? It's it, it just going to attack it. Fine, it gets cursed too. So what? It didn't take any damage. It's got, You're going to have to do additional damage on it, which isn't guaranteed. It's just a really bad scroll. So, um, going back, all of these scrolls, like, if you're a new player, you probably haven't even heard of half of them because you don't see people use them because they're very bad. Now, I'm not saying that Mojang should try and buff all the scrolls that are bad, because I think it's good in the game to have some scrolls be better than others. But I will propose changes for them anyways. These are my ideas. So, I'd like to see Essence Feast at 3 cost, and the Idle Healing by 3 health for each unit you have. I'd like to see Crone be given 5 health. I'd like to see Bunny have a 2 countdown. I'd like to see Vitriol, Vitriol Aura give poison that will never stop, like Infectious Blight and stuff. Well, not, not become an Infectious Blight, but just like don't stop after 3 rounds in that unit. I'd like to see Faith Duty reduced to 1 order. I'd like to see Golem Skin give, the, uh, give a bigger buff than just the amount of health and attack that you had from the structures, maybe like two times that. Um, I Unbind was a tough one. I think it doesn't really work because there's not many easy, easily destroyed structures. I wouldn't like to have it as destroyed target structure you control. Maybe it could be deal one damage or two damage to target structure you control, but that would make it a bit too like a road, but maybe that's the only change I could think of. Uh, Vengeance Veil, I would try to add some sort of card draw into it, because Order has a lot of cards like that, so it kind of fit the theme. Maybe increase the cost by two and have it be draw a card when the uh, unit gets attacked also in melee. Resonant Helm, I would have it more like heal by 3 every time a spell on enchantment is played, or heal by 2 maybe. And Wicked Being, I would do something crazy like not just Curse 2, I give it like Curse like 4, Curse 5. You see Malevolent Gaze, Mojang is not shying away from giving things like Curse 10, so I think a nice... Wicked Being would be cool to see someone give it, give it something like Curse 5. So, those are my proposed changes to try to make those scrolls better. So, I guess that'll be it. Sorry if I sounded a little monotone this video and a little bored. I'm very tired. It's very late at night. I don't know why I'm doing this right now. But uh, a couple people requested me to make this video. And I'll try to do more of these, like top 10 scrolls videos in the future and you might see some very interesting ideas of top 10 scrolls topics in the future so like the video if you enjoyed subscribe for more content and thanks for watching everybody i'll see you next time